Okay, this taco can be used to spot the RPM that the engine's running at, so you can see what speed your engine's doing, be it idle or top RPM. The taco can also uh, show the hours that the engine's been running. And you can program a service interval into that by setting an, the service number of hours, and then the service will come up when the taco has reached those number of hours. So this is the taco meter. Um, it's got some wires coming out. One of them will go around the spark plug. The other one, the white wire needs to be earthed. So to hook up the unit, we can use go through one of the mount bolts. So the so the wire is earthed. The white wire is earthed. Then the black wire is going to do three or four turns around the spark plug wire, like so. And then the unit uh, can be mounted somewhere, so on the lawnmower, on the chassis, or somewhere where you'd like to mount it and you have that amount of cord. So with the taco, it takes its impulse off the spark plug so if it's two stroke, then you're gonna to have to set that rate, or if it's a four stroke, you're gonna to have to set that rate. So a two stroke is one and a four stroke is two. So this engine's a four stroke. So if you hold the S1 button down for four seconds, it'll scroll through, and now that's one, two, and that's the one we want for this one. So yeah, once we've programmed the engine sort of thing, I'm just going to start the engine now and I'll show it running with uh, say low PM and high PM and as you can see me moving the throttle um, you'll see the revolutions change and that will be the RPM. Okay, with the TACO, you can actually program a service interval, so um, it'll come up with an alert when it's reached that runtime that you want to leave it, so between servicing as such. Um, once again, you'll hold the S2 button down this time for four seconds, um, and then wait till you get the servicing signal, and now, from this point, we can set the number of hours and which digit we want it to run. So once we've got the digit, we can hold down the S1 to advance it. So 400 hours, 500 hours, 600 hours, and that sets how many hours between service intervals. If we hold the, button, the S2 button down again, we can keep scrolling through the digits to pick which one. So once the desired number is reached, say like 500 hours in this case, wait 16 seconds and the thing should return to a running time. So with the TACO, um, it comes with some instructions. Uh, they can look at uh, how to retrieve some of the information, like holding S2 or S1 down for four seconds. We'll go to that mode and you can see what hours the engines have done, that kind of thing. Uh, other buttons, you can hold a combination of both buttons down and retrieve different information. So have a look at the instructions, or if you want to, go to chainsawspares.com.au and download the instructions, and you can have a look at them there too. So, happy cutting.